This week on the show, we have American actress Faith Herman. Faith can be seen as Darla Dudley in the DC comic sequel, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, in theaters now. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of learning how to make a bad day better. We've all had those days where despite our optimistic attitude and wishful thinking, our day didn't go as planned. Maybe it was not striking that business deal or not receiving great news on something you were hoping for. So how do we turn a bad day around? Well, the answer boils down to this. Do something that your future self will thank you for even if you don't feel motivated to do it. It can be something small like cleaning up or organizing your home, finally pushing yourself to go to the gym, or simply getting started on a project you've been procrastinating on but is necessary. When we tackle things that are good for us, we turn the day from bad to great simply because of our decision to be productive and invest in ourselves. What's even better is that you will make tomorrow even better because of the conscious decision you took to take action on self-improvement. As Mahatma Gandhi quotes, your future depends on what you do today. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. And Faith, how was it working with the cast? I mean, Zachary Levy, Lucy Liu. So tell us about your experience. A lot of fun. We like to call um, <laughs> like cast the Shazamly. And so like we we didn't get to hang out as much offset this time because of COVID, but we I feel like we still had the same bond and just being around them felt like a family and they're also loving and supportive and just a lot of fun to be around. They make set so much fun. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have American actress Faith Herman. Faith is best known for her role in the hit TV show, This Is Us. She can currently be seen reprising her role as Darla Dudley in the DC comic sequel, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, which is in theaters now. Faith, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Thank you so much for having me. I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing very well. You know, before we started filming, I was just congratulating you on all your success. And before we get into that and your success on This Is Us and, of course, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, let's talk about how did you get your start in this industry? So my three of my sisters, they started off with background work and I was little. So like um, then my mom thought it would be nice for like maybe I should try it out. And when I spent some time on set, I was well behaved and like I enjoyed it. Um, then two of my sisters stopped doing it. So me and my other sister, my dad was like, why don't you sign them to an agency? And that's when um, they sent me on my first pilot audition and my mom and I had no idea what a pilot audition was. And it was so much fun. I remember that. And that was for This Is Us. That was my first pilot audition. Wow, that, that's quite the audition. And you were, I know that your mom has played a vital role in, you know, you getting into the industry. So did she already kind of think that you were, you know, ready for this industry? Or was it something that you had to convince her for? <laughs> Um, for me, I was like an introvert and I was shy when I was oh. little, I to be at times, but um, my mom just thought I would do like print and ads and things like that. And when I got signed with my agency, the agent I was with at the time, I was doing like print and ads and that's when they sent me on my first pilot audition. So it wasn't something I convinced them about, um, but when they did get me signed with an agency, that was my first pilot audition. You know, moms know best. Even for me, before I got into journalism, my mom kind of had a hunch that I would be good in this industry. So she kind of directed me to this. She's like, I think you'd be good in journalism. And I went to school for it. And I was like, okay, this is it. I love this. But moms know best, right? <laughs> they, they know. So I love that. And, you know, let's talk about your character as Annie Pearson in the show. This is us. Were you nervous joining the show? Um, I mean, it's such a big show. And also, what did you learn about yourself in the process? I don't think I was really nervous because I was like seven at the time. I was definitely nervous for that audition, but I remember it and I had so much fun. So on my first day, I didn't really think anything of it. I didn't really know who anybody was. <laughs> and my mom knew who some of the cast members were, but I was even looking up and I was like, who are they? Um, but my first day on set, it was really fun. And I was definitely nervous also to be like 
around all the cameras and the film and crew, but they all made me feel so comfortable and they're all so nice. Yeah, and you said you were an introvert, which I thought was interesting. A lot of people I have on my show, um, or even when I interview them, uh, like a lot of celebrities on screen, they're you know um, really outgoing, but behind the scenes, they're introverts. So mm -hmm. how did you kind of step out of your comfort zone and do this? Um. Well, I was like always like nervous and shy, but I feel like after like going in up person auditions and when you go to events and you meet other people and things like that I guess it makes me feel a little less nervous I don't know I still get nervous at times which is normal because I feel like everyone does like yeah. when I do interviews sometimes or like I go to things I get nervous but yeah I always turn to being fine and things like yeah, absolutely. I get nervous all the time. I've been doing this for a long time. I've this is my hundredth and I think sixtieth show. <laughs> yeah, and I still get nervous. Yeah, I still get nervous on camera. I still get nervous doing red carpet interviews. Um, but it's good. I guess that's what makes it exciting, right? If you don't get nervous, then it's not exciting. <laughs> yeah, so. it's like Shazam coming for number two. I was nervous to come back on set. That was just me being normal going back on set. But I was. I had a lot of fun being around everyone. And speaking about Shazam, we're going to get into that in just a little bit. But before then, I want to talk about some of your accolades. I know that you won two Screen Actors Guild Awards for Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Drama Series for This Is Us. So tell us about that moment and what did it mean for you winning that award? It was a very exciting moment. It was my first award show, so getting ready in the whole process was a lot of fun. And I never really watched like award shows or anything. I really knew about it growing up because I was seven years old. <laughs> yeah. So being at that award show and when we heard our name, I was like so shocked. Even Eris, like her <laughs> chair fell back. And I was like nervous to go on stage. I'm like, what do we do next? But it was such an exciting moment to see how much people love the show and recognize their work and getting to be up there with the whole cast was amazing because when I joined the show, I didn't think of anything out there, how much of a hit it would be. So it was um, a, definitely a moment I'll always remember. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. That's a very big accomplishment for someone your age. I think that's amazing because it's very inspirational for anyone watching this, especially at a young age, you know, that anything is possible. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can be very young. You could be older. It's possible for anyone. So I like that, you know, your story kind of tells that. And let's talk about Shazam! Fury of the Gods. I'm very excited to watch this movie. But for our viewers that aren't familiar with the first one, tell us a little bit about your character. So I'm Darla Dudley. I'm the youngest of the foster kids um, and she's such a fun and loving person. She cares and she loves her family and she's very talkative um, but I love that about her and yeah. Mm -hmm. And what can fans expect from the sequel? I mean you know, this is an anticipated movie. I mean, it's definitely a lot bigger. We have um, mythological creatures. We have this huge dragon and unicorns, and it's so exciting. And you get to see the family all together again. And I think what's great about this um, one is that you get to see the adult, the younger kids and the adults like equally, and um, just seeing the whole family back together. And then the wizard also gets to like go on this adventure with the kids. It was super exciting. And Faith, how was it working with the cast? I mean, Zachary Levy, Lucy Liu. So tell us about your experience. A lot of fun. We like to call um, <laughs> like cast the Shazamly. And so like we we didn't get to hang out as much offset this time because of COVID, but we I feel like we still had the same bond and just being around them felt like a family and they're also loving and supportive and just a lot of fun to be around. They make set so much fun. Mm -hmm. And I heard that you got to write a comic book for your character, Darla Dudley. So to tell us about that. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, well, they called it the Shazamly Matters and DC reached out and they were like, would Faith like to write a comic book? And I was like, of course, immediately, yes. Um, it was. They made it a fun process and they made it easy. And they made me like feel included. Like I got to pick um, the art and like just figure out this story for Darla, which was really fun. Um, and then I had Miss Amanda who came in and helped me with my dialogue. And then I got to like 
choose art, which was super nice. And it was just such a fun story to get to work on and be a part of. Very nice. I'm very excited to watch the movie. And you know, with any success story comes its share of obstacles. I mean, especially being in this industry at such a young age. So for you, what are some obstacles that you face in this industry and how did you get through them? I think for me, when it came to auditions and looking at the paper, I'd always be like, I can't do this. This is like too much. So I've always learned to have faith in myself and believe in myself and never doubt myself at times because I've done that and when I f end up finishing the audition I'm like oh that was easy so that's definitely a challenge I felt that I've overcome. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing I feel like you know we all doubt ourselves sometimes but sometimes you know we realize after we do something that really we had nothing to worry about it's really the belief in yourself um that helps you get through it all so i like that you know just believing in yourself auditions are scary you know i go to a lot of auditions as well and sometimes they make you do things outside your comfort zone and you just got to own it right and just dive into it so <laughs> i can I was, like so much more different because i'm constantly doing i do self tapes but i think the most nervous part i get is when you do callbacks because now mm -hmm. like before when you're in the room you get their feedback but now you mostly wait i think for callbacks yeah which makes me really nervous of being on zoom and stuff but it's always such a fun process yes absolutely and you know for anyone that's watching this that's going through a hard time and you know not being able to deal with failure because this industry as you said you know going to auditions you get a lot of failures you get yeses but you get a lot of you get more no's than yeses so for anyone watching this that is, you know, having a hard time with failure, what would you say to inspire them? I'd say always believe in yourself and never doubt yourself like me. And um, you may, like you say, get some no's before yeses, but never give up and believe in yourself. And if it's something that you want to do, don't let that stop you. And yeah. I think that's very true advice. And Faith, what's next for you? Who who would be your dream collab with? What actor? I don't know. Honestly, that's hard. There's so many amazing actors that I love. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Be excited for anything, really. <laughs> yeah, I think that's great advice. And Faith, congratulations on all your success with Shazam and This Is Us. And uh, we can't wait to see what's next for you. So come back on the show anytime. So much for having me. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.